Okay, the next part of this series, <coughs> since we made the, uh, in the cell mold in the first part, now we've got to uh, lay up our two fiberglass house. No big secrets here. Um, this is uh, part all uh, high temp mold release wax. And uh, nothing fancy here, just you kind of put on uh, three, four coats uh, to get it ready. <coughs> For laying your fiberglass in. So I've already got a couple coats on. Just put a few more on here. Another good one. I'm going to keep doing this until you get a nice sheen when you're doing your buffing. This ultra cow, the first first coat, it it's, feels horrible, gritty, and everything else because it's, you know, it's a little grainy. It's not like an inside of a fiberglass mold, but uh, you put that on in, in there, and then uh, polish it out, and still it'll roll off a little bit, and then your second coat uh, will start to smooth out after that, and then it feels <clears throat> pretty normal, like a inside of a fiberglass mold would. But, don't have to worry about that. That first coat sometimes can give you a concern if you're not used to it. Make you think you've got a bad mold, but you don't. Okay, I got that. The nose cone. And then we want to uh, put some wax here on this outer rim. Keep things from sticking. Okay, and we'll let that sit up for about uh, three minutes. And then uh, I've got my countdown timer going. And then we'll come back and we'll polish. Okay, three minute timer's. Uh, Picking away. So, <clears throat> I don't use anything fancy, just old t shirts that I cut up. That's what I use mainly in the shop for rags anyway. So, get in there, give that a good polish. You can start to feel it getting nice and slick. Starting to get shiny. Let's see, I got an old Warbirds uh, over the Rocky shirt here that I naturally was wearing in the shop and got some stuff on, so I'll ruin that. I ruined a lot of stuff like that in the shop. Even with this apron on, which you can see is well covered with shop war material. Oh yeah, see, I'm starting to get shiny now. That's what we like to see. Nice gloss. Oh yeah, that feels smooth. This one's still a little rough. Get another coat on that. Yeah, this is feeling good. Okay. Back up. Give our rim here a little polish. Okay, that's the third coat. I'm going to put one more on there, and then uh, we'll get set up tomorrow, and uh, we'll lay up a, a cowl here for this to sell and see how it goes. Okay, the wax is all dry. Now, the next step is to put mold release inside the cowl. Now, um, I don't like using PVA, which a lot of people use, which I used to use, because I have such a problem with it fish-eyeing over the wax. So what I use is Safety Lease 30. It's a uh, PTFE mold release. It's Teflon. It's water-based. has no silicons in it. 
And all you got to do is wipe it on a light coat of it with a uh, soft cloth. So I wipe on two coats. You give it about 20 minutes to dry, 30 minutes to dry, or you can actually you can air dry it about 10 to 15 minutes. Just a nice light coat of it. Make sure your rag is good and saturated and you're getting good coverage. Just rub that around inside. Goes on real easy, no fish eyes, no problems of that nature. And then we'll rub a little bit around here on the rim. Soak that down good. Okay. Theoretically, we're good to go for fiberglass. Okay, this part is going to talk a little bit about just cutting your fiberglass. <clears throat> this is a tapered cowl, uh, so I've determined that uh, I'm going to use strips, about 14 inch long strips to uh, fiberglass this cowl, and they're going to be 3 inches one, uh, on one end and 5 inches on the other, so that I don't have a lot of bunch up of material in the bottom of the cowl. So what we do first is uh, mark off, I use a magic marker here. That's 14 inches there, and then we'll go 3 inches, 5 inches, 3 inches, 5 inches, 3 inches, 5 inches, 3. And then down here, we'll go 5 inches, 3 five, three, five, three, and five. Okay. So, now when I cut my fiberglass, I always use a little rotary cutter. Gives you a nice, clean cut. Once you've got lines drawn, it's a very simple matter of just following the line, and then cutting your glass. So, like this. I'd probably make it more complicated than it needs to be, but hey, it's all fun, right? Okay. So now it doesn't look like five inches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we got those, so we'll make a cut here. You see how nice these woven covers cut. It gives you a really nice sharp edge to work with, none of that fray and stuff coming out. So, there's one piece, two pieces, three pieces, four. And six. Okay, so I'm going to probably use, uh, this is a layer of four ounce cloth I'm going to start with. Uh, I'll probably do a layer of four and a couple layers of six and then maybe another layer of four uh, in the cowl. So uh, I'll get all those pieces cut out and laid out and then we'll get into the actual layup uh, of the cowl.